hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are here with Ancaster at Swanwick to look at this lovely Beneteau Gran Turismo 45. Start on the bathing platform. I'll try not to fall in. Huge sun pad here, as you can imagine. Under here is a little... Oh, look at that. Aft barbecue. What a brilliant thing that is. Also, I'm imagining that under here, this whole section here will lift up and give you a really large storage locker for your tender we've looked at it from the other side in a minute but you can see that this whole window opens up and gives you a massive inside outside living space with the sunroof open as well you can see it's absolutely vast we'll take a quick walk forward obviously this is a sports cruiser not a flybridge cruiser so there's no no flybridge quite nice actually that there isn't teak deck if you've ever had teak deck or synthetic teak deck and you're going to take a boat to the med it gets very 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 hot little cover here pops up over the top so if you want a bit of sunshade you can get that nice array of cushions here that's the fore hatch which we'll see when we go down into the into the fore cabin and as you would imagine anchor and down here we have the anchor locker new more anchor winch little more of control plenty of room down there to throw some fenders also all quite nice and they're getting more and more popular these days are these little deck lights so you don't really notice them but at night they just run a little line of illumination around the deck we will wander down the other side and uh, go and have a look inside that is for water or fuel i can't see from here which way window through to the helm so you can uh, shout at your crew stick your head out the window when you're coming stern to So there you go, let's go and have a look inside. So sun lounger there, we've just entered off the bathing platform. I'm going to have to be quick because there are a lot of people wanting to look at this boat. Wet bar up here, nice array of seating around there. This massive window here that drops down, fills in this section here. Then you've got the side doors that slide across there. Beautiful stainless. Lovely teak table. Nice big windows. And because it stopped raining, yes. Incredible, massive opening sunroof there. Really does open this whole illumination. Really nice here. There's two helm seats. And a single helm seat with a step. All the fuel controls. So you can turn the fuel system on and off from here and the usual array of joystick controls, phone charger, conventional throttles, trim tabs, engine start stop, side of bell thruster, carling switches, and then a large uh, Garmin control so that'll give you navigation, obviously all the engine information as well, plotter and radar if you've got one fitted, conventional compass, it's just a really nice illuminated area. I've got a fusion stereo over here and a separate isotherm fridge. So, go and have a look down below. So if you come downstairs here, nice wooden flooring all around, which is really nice. Dinette over here, off on the starboard side. We've got storage underneath all these seats. Nice high-low table, I'm guessing, but it's pretty standard format. That table drops down and gives you an infill cushion, so you can have another berth here if you wanted. On the port side, a little bit of storage down here, and then you've got your galley. So as you'd imagine, double sink, 102. Nice little Corian work surface, Kenyan electric grill, and then storage all the way around here. Another little window with a port light. Sockets on this one, fusion stereo. And this is quite nice actually, separate fridge freezer. Big, big full size domestic fridge, which is really, really nice on a boat. You'd be amazed when you're going out for a few days how much stuff you have on board. Storage all under there. So we'll take a step forward first. And on the port side here, we have the day heads. So conventional vacuum flush loo, nice 
teak styles, teak effect flooring, and sort of a little wet room here. It does have a door, so you can clip that across to section in that section of the floor so the water drains out. Sink, nice mirror. Just really nice, actually decent headroom in here as well. Look. There's lots of headroom in here. Nice room. So that, I believe, is the day head. And just for the sake of it, you have storage all the way along here as well. This door then takes you forward into the forward VIP. And this looks like it's a scissor berth. So it looks like this bed here splits. You can slide that one forward, slide that one over that side as well. Yeah, and then there's storage underneath here. There's storage under the floor. Nice little hanging locker with some shelf storage in there. Big, big hull side windows and you can see that ventilation window there, port light is open. Really nice concealed lighting actually as well in here. This is actually, this is a bigger, feels a bigger cabin standing in here than it probably is. Window over there, a bit of additional storage in there. And they've got some really nice fabrics. Quality of these Benetos has really gone up dramatically in the last few years. And you can see there, that is the four hatch. So that's ventilation and emergency escape if you need to get out of here. And you can see there, it's got the little blinds that pull across for flies and illuminate and uh, keep it dark at night. We'll just tiptoe into the aft cabin. Before we go in there, here is the main head, for the aft cabin, the main cabin. Again, conventional vacuum flush loo. Nice detailing here on the mirror shelf. And another large teak effect floor, conventional shower. Nice big storage locker in there, and this is always good ventilation through the opening port light. So I'll take a turn around to the stern. I'll take a step back here so you can see the floor layout. Obviously, it's a 45 foot boat, I believe it's around about 47, 48 foot in total. So we are squeezing a lot of boat inside here, which is why you've got the one, two, three steps down. But even in here, in here look like this, there is still a fair amount of headroom. And if we take these two steps down, even now here, okay, the recess catches my head. But it's a 45 foot boat. Decent size, very large bed there. Plenty of room to sit up in, in bed and read. And then you've got those beautiful hull windows, which are actually quite low to the water. If you look over the other side here, though, you'll see what I mean, They're really close to the waterline. Storage can put in here. And then little drawers and bits and pieces pocketed along. Storage void in there, another storage void over there. Sealed light around the back of the bed. Yeah, just generally a really, really nice boat. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. I'm going to sit down over here. So, thank you for watching. We will see you next time around. But please remember to click the subscribe button. See you next time around.